Most people think I'm ultra positive by nature. When I tell them I used to get angry all the time, it's hard for them to believe unless they've seen it for themselves. I am positive to the point where I'm sure a lot of people think it's fake, and I'm idealistic to the point where a lot of people think it's stupid. But I'll be the first one to tell you that I don't wake up every day feeling like sunshine. Most days I wake up feeling lethargic and grumpy, actually. I was always prone to bouts of depression. I always found myself in a negative loop where I couldn't do anything except procrastinate and lay around thinking about how much everything sucked. I hated so much about the world. Most of the time I felt hopeless about just about everything. I can count on my fingers and toes just how many times I've been slighted or taken advantage of in my life too, so when people call me naive I can only laugh. I really know how fucked up it can be out there. Over the years though I've learned that despite all the things that suck in the world, there's just as much if not more to be happy about. There's tons of wonderful things out there and my worst enemy is the desire to focus on all the shitty things. There's so much in life that I can't control but I can always control my focus. This isn't something that I was aware of for most of my life and it definitely took some practice to get used to. The first thing I did was become aware of what made me feel better and what made me feel worse. The goal wasn't to ignore all the things that made me feel bad, but just to put them to the side long enough to feel good. Once I felt good, I could start to face those things without the same kind of emotional baggage. That all required me to cut out as much negativity from my life as possible. There were some friends that I used to just complain with all the time, and so I had to tell them that I didn't want to talk about those things anymore, and that I was going to try to stop complaining, and I didn't want to sit around listening to a lot of complaining either. There were even two friends I had to take a break from because they weren't willing to make those compromises with me. Of course I told them that this was just for my own health and mindset and I left the door open for them, just not for certain topics. At least not until I felt well enough to face those things. I realized that world news and politics were making me feel much worse than anything, so the first thing I did was cut out the news and cut out emotionally charged topics. Even now I only check the news after some mental preparation or meditation. I tell myself, don't hold on to the things you read, stick to your sphere of influence and focus on the things that give you energy as much as possible. I realized that I was forcing myself to deal with people when I didn't have energy for them. A lot of it was out of loneliness. I didn't like being alone and so I would just run to whoever gave me attention and it wasn't always good for me. I responded to messages instinctively as soon as I got them and I'd check for messages throughout the day. I had to train myself not to touch the phone for the first hour of the day and about an hour before I go to sleep. And I still try to do that, although uh, nowadays I'm much more able to deal with other people's energy and not let it affect me. I learned to say no, too. I've always wanted to avoid conflict, so it was really hard for me to reject anyone when they asked me for something or when they asked me to do something. It was really hard at first, but eventually I learned to stop pleasing people at my own expense. I also asked myself throughout the day how I felt and what I could do to feel a little bit better. At first it was shallow things and bad habits like chocolate or shooting the shit with friends, but after a while I started to come up with things that led to a lot more fulfillment. I'd reach out to old friends or tell people how much I appreciated them. Slowly I got used to pushing myself to do things that I wanted to do but felt too lazy or depressed for. Every day I made some space for myself and spent time every day to imagine things going well instead of just imagining the worst case scenario. But I still imagine those bad situations just to prepare myself and to try and accept them before they happened. Things can only really get better when you allow them to. I became an optimistic person because I realized that you can't build anything if you can't imagine it and if you don't believe it's possible. That's why I'm still fundamentally optimistic. It's just how I keep myself positive and create an opportunity for things to get better. For years I've been training myself like this to focus on the positive and now it's almost a reflex. I started doing it because the path I was on was unsustainable. If I hadn't trained myself to think differently, I might not be here today. Some people might not believe this, but I think a lot of my health issues came as a direct result of the negativity that I perpetuated for basically three decades. You could say I'm still battling with depression, but I'm not struggling anymore. I'm beating the shit out of it. <laughs> I don't use medication, I use focus, which is a far more powerful tool. I stop filling my mind with the things that upset me or stress me, unless there's something I can do about it. And if there is something I can do about it, I jump right into it. I spend time to get into the right headspace before I do anything. I know how momentum works, so if there's anything I want to do, I push myself the first few minutes, otherwise I'll never start. I don't put myself in situations I don't want to be in anymore. 
I face my fears as soon as I can. And I face myself frequently to audit myself and figure out what's going on inside. I observe to see what my body and mind are telling me that I might be too busy or distracted to notice. Sometimes there's things I'm resistant to notice, so I try and catch those too. So yeah, I'm fucking positive and I'm idealistic, but I wasn't born this way. I don't even wake up this way most days. I'm not faking it. I'm not afraid to say when I feel like shit or when I don't like something. I'm not even afraid to say when I'm hopeless. I just don't get stuck on these things anymore. The feelings don't spiral out into a cycle of helplessness. I know that the shitty things in life are not useful to hold on to, so whenever they come up, I drop everything I'm doing to try and figure out what they can teach me, and I heal whatever past trauma or mental noise is letting those negative feelings stick. I focus on the things I should be thankful for, and I drop all the judgment of myself long enough to feel okay, and then I get back to what I'm doing. There's still a lot I struggle with, and I still slip up from time to time, but now I have all the tools to put myself back together quickly, and I'm only getting better at it. If you like what I shared here, I have a novella series called Confessions of the Damaged. It's a fictionalized version of my own process, rewriting my emotional programming and overcoming depression. The main character is a homeless man that wanders the streets and untangles emotionally, learning to create peace within himself. I hope it can help anyone who reads it do the same. If you're interested, there's a link in the description.